for him. God wants us to be happy. And if we are not happy, can we call to worship him every day? No. No man. God wants us to be healthy. And as Sister Simone said, be so little bit as if we though we are not in a mountain top, we sounded as and we are in the valley. We sounded as if we were depressed like one of our clinic patients this morning. But we want to be happy and healthy. So let's go right now into what we have for you. Technology, technology. Am I pressing the right one here? Okay, what are we going to look at? So we are going to introduce the, the series for this year. We'll be looking at the word celebration. All right? We also will be looking at life expectancy worldwide and in Jamaica. Because how long should, how long should we live for? What is the bad
but it's the definition by the World Health Organization. Anybody, how do you describe health in your own sense of understanding of the word health? Being fit. Anything else? To take a complete health of your body. Go ahead. To take a complete health of your body. For your body. That's his definition. Let's hear. Anybody else? Happiness. Happiness. Yes. What else? Proper rest. To care for your body. To care for your body. Exercise. Exercise. Eating right. Eating right. We have what is called communicable 
But is it impossible for you to get attention from that person? No. Can you avoid getting attention then? Yes. Exactly. So what we are saying therefore, this is what is happening in our world today. We find that we have a lot of modifiable um, non-communicable diseases that we can prevent. Some of those are cancer. Let's look at the tree and hear what they are. Cancer, diabetes, heart diseases and stroke, chronic lung diseases, and other non-communicable diseases. What is the root cause of this? Physical inactivity. We are not exercising. We are not doing that what we should do. What's the other cause? Smoking. And another one? Unhealthy diet. We are not eating and doing the right thing. So therefore, I have here five top causes of premature death. People are dying before the time that they should have really died. Is that possible? Yes. Studies have shown that two-thirds of many premature deaths are entirely avoidable. Now, what are some of the diseases that we are looking at? Cancer. There are approximately 200 cancers. One in three of us will develop cancer. But what is also true is that unhealthy lifestyle is the root cause of about a third of all cancer. What is that saying to us people? What is that saying to us as a people? Heart disease experts say most causes of premature death and it's completely preventable. So what are we saying? Stroke, third leading cause of death in many parts of the world. And hypertension is a part of it, and hypertension is the main cause of stroke. So hypertension therefore is preventable as well. Lung disease, example, asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, right? These are the lung diseases. Some of us may inherit asthma from our family, right? But 85% of um, COPD is caused by smoking. Smoking what? All right? And so therefore, we have to be extremely careful and therefore we are saying 85% of persons with COPD, it is a boy devil. Yes. Is that what we are saying? Yes. Liver disease develops silently. Three main causes is drinking, obesity, and viral hepatitis. Can we avoid being fat? Yes. yes. So can we avoid getting liver diseases? Yes. Of course we can. All right, the 10 leading causes of death in the world today. And what I'm going to look at is today, when you look at this table, I'm just going to take a look at the graph. And what we're seeing on the graph, let me use my pointer. But if you look here, the circulator is system where they refer to the heart and the vessels, right? And if you look here, we're really not looking at the numbers now. What we're looking at is the graph, the length of the blue line. And if you look at the top three diseases, we see how bad it is. Accident and injuries, can those be avoided? Yes. Can you avoid accident? Yes, you can be more careful, okay? This is our third job. Of course we can avoid some of those. But look at the bottom here, congenital malformation. What do we mean by that? Disease that we born with. Look at how many persons are dying from that. Not many. What are the diseases? Those diseases that we can avoid and prevent. Morbidity profile. The top causes of hospital discharge is by the international classification of diseases, and this is also what they are saying. Again, the top reason, the top cause, just as we said before. The reason why persons are being discharged, or if for you to be discharged, you must be admitted, right? Yes. <coughs> Sorry. So I admit them for <coughs> many of these diseases for which persons can be prevented. And if that doesn't happen, we can lessen the burden. The burden on our community, the burden on our country. Thank you very much. So the same way. So you can do some of this that one. Thank you. The 
burden on our community and the burden on our society if we take these major steps. Agree, everybody? Yeah. yeah. Of course. I did something wrong. All right, so this chart is showing you factors contributing to the development of cardiovascular diseases and related conditions. And I'm going to focus on the, this, 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 this column. And if you look at this column, it, it speaks about behavioral risk factor. Our behavior towards our lifestyle, the things that we do. And how this one column can impact all the other columns, right? So we look at unhealthy diet, tobacco smoke, physical inactivity, harmful use of alcohol, and this is coming up again and again, people. And we're saying, what's gonna happen? We end up with heart attacks, stroke, heart failure, kidney disease. All of this is what is taking over the world today, and this is very concerning, and we must do something about it. Excellent. And if we look at that, this world map, what we are seeing, it says prevalence of raised, raised, fasting, blood glucose, age, what age? 18. Age what? 18. 18 and over. And what it is showing, look at the green. What is this telling you about our world today? What is this telling you? Look at our world today. All the green representing what is happening across the world. It's a worldwide phenomenon, a worldwide crisis. We need to do something about it. And if we take a little step and look, my battery does. In the middle here, we see our Caribbean island right here. And a similar thing is happening. We are just as bad. It's a worldwide problem. Okay? Yeah. 
responsibilities. We all do. Okay? So the grim reality is, the fact truth is, tobacco kills. Half of its users. Alright? So all of the users of tobacco, it will kill you. Right? More than seven people die each year, William, from the use of smoking. 10% of these deaths are the result of inhaling, second and smoking homes. Are you smoking in your homes? Are your father smoking and your brother smoking and you're there? Are you at risk to die from something that could be dependent on people? Yes, of course. All right? Restaurants. You go to the restaurant and you inhale it, right? You're walking down the road and sometimes you have to slow down to allow that person to walk up. Because what you are approaching or what you're encountering is what? Second and smoking. And you are not a smoker. All right? So we have to take care of this. So they're reducing harmful effect of alcohol is also something that we should do, defined as public health problem, right? Drinking that causes the, uh, the men, uh, detrimental health and social consequences, right? Some of us, when our father drink or our relative drink, when they come back home and trouble. Don't it? Problem in the house. You can't live in here because of the drinking, because of the effect that drinking will have on them, right? As well, partner drinking is associated with increased risk of adverse health diseases, such as liver, liver cancer, liver disease, etc. A lot of other things outside of the other mental or emotional effect that it can cause. And so quickly, this is really a, a, like a, a concept map. I won't have time to go through it, but you know, we can look at the effect of sleep, a whole realm of things. Stress, many things can happen. And exercise, if we exercise, there are benefits. And our diet, we can get, uh, we can have problems. But guess what? Help is here. Amen. We are a church here, and we are here to help you. And so for the next two weeks, you will hear story, story, gospel messages that speak of the Bible, things that the Bible, God put in that book for us to follow. And we are all with us as a people. We will go out and bring our neighbors and our friends and our relatives to come and hear and listen. Because we have a life changes message for everyone. We need everyone to come. And we need all of us as people to buy this message, to listen, and to recognize that we have a responsibility. This morning, in our youth class, we look at the long living people at Methuselah. We look at Abraham, who lived for 930 years. We look at Methuselah, who lived for 900 and Samantha, 969 years. And so therefore, we know that during that time, Adam would have been given a lot of story, passing down a lot of traits, and given a lot of, of, of what happened to him. And so that when Enoch listened, he walked, and he was Samantha. He talked directly to him. He was devoted and committed and decided that he was going to work and work for God. And so I didn't want us to spoil him. I want anybody to spoil him. And what did God do? God took him away. People, we have a responsibility to tell our neighbors and our friends and all of those who we come in contact with about the love of Jesus, about the health message that he has for us. All right? This is a burden. A burden to us. A burden to our household because if we have to use our money, the little money that we earn to buy prescription medication, our children is going to suffer. The light they won't pay properly. The school fee will be short. That all of this is going to impact ultimately on the society. And so we will have this problem, right, that is going to affect us all. It's impact our church, it's impact our world, and it impacts us. And so therefore, what do we do now? What do you do now? What are we doing? Where do we go from here? What is the message to all of us? Help is available, people. The help is right here. Let us do all that we can. And LT always speak about the ministry of presence. So we need to be present. We need to bring others to come and hear. There are some reasons that may cause some of us like myself not to be here every night. But I'm asking you, make a pledge, make a plan. This is a turning point in the Adventist faith. And we hear that Mission 2019 
Jamaica Conference Center, we need to tell the world, we need to make a big mark. We want health to be a primary focus. And we know that health is a right arm of the gospel. And so from that, we can get what? Balance. Fitness. We can change our habits. We can change our diets. And we can prevent diseases that would otherwise remove us from this earth. So people, what am I saying in my closing? He who has health has what? Hope. And he who has hope has everything. All right? So what I'm saying to you, be happy. Be healthy. Be happy. Be you. It's a beautiful day. Let's all enjoy it. It's worth a living, taking a trip that leads to heaven. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is the Lord.